Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the graphing tool in section 5.5 for these systems of inequalities. Um, so the first thing you'll want to do is graph. You know, first thing you want to do is solve each of them for y. I picked a problem where that's already done. Then you want to graph each of these as if they are equations. So we're going to graph y equals x minus 4, if you can see it right there. Because there's no equals to here, um, we want it to be a dashed line. So I'm gonna, I usually pick that first because sometimes after you've marked some points, it's a little bit more difficult to change it. It's better if you just have it selected ahead of time. So it's gonna be a dashed line. These will graph as lines, they're linear equations. So I'll pick the, uh, the line tool there, All right? And then, uh, you know, the y-intercept is negative four. So I'll start at negative four. The slope is one, so I go up one to the right one. And that gives me my first line. Uh, for the second inequality, we're going to graph y equals negative x minus 2. Same reasoning. There's no equals 2 in the inequality symbol, so it'll be a dashed line. Uh, we'll start at, it's going to be a line. We'll start at uh, negative 2 as the y-intercept, but this time the slope is negative 1, so we go down 1 to the right 1. We get that. And then the final thing you need to do is shade in the appropriate area. When there's two inequalities, we have to keep both of them in mind when we're making our choice. Y being greater than X minus four means I want to shade above that particular line, uh, so which is the first line we drew, which is the one that's currently in blue. Uh, y less than negative X minus two means we want to shade below that line because it's a less than, that's the one that's currently in yellow. So above the blue line, below the yellow line, it's going to be this area over here to the left. So that's the area I want to shade in. Now to actually shade that area in, you want to use this paint bucket tool. So uh, that's a common uh, icon with a lot of computer applications. Uh, if you want to fill in an area with a certain color, it's often represented as a paint bucket. So that's probably how I don't use Photoshop, but I imagine that's how Photoshop works. Uh, you know, so a lot of image editing software and whatnot use that icon to represent that, um, you know, uh, modification, if you will. So, and, uh, I don't know, if you mouse over it, it says here, I, I missed it, oh, it's not coming back either. All right, but anyways, you want the paint bucket tool, and then you click in the region where you want it to fill that color in. So we want it to be, we want to fill in this region over here to the left. So I click anywhere in this region will be fine. It'll apply a shading into that entire region. And so that's how you color in the correct area for the uh, solution set to that system of inequality. So any point in this region satisfies this system of inequalities. All right, so we click Save. Uh, it saves our work here. And then, um, uh, let's see, I might, I'm previewing it, so I don't know if I can submit the answer. I wanted to submit, oh yeah, I can right here. So check the answer. And looks like we got the correct answer. So that's how you use the graphing tool in section 5.5.